Joe has a connection with Jamar Chase from his time at LSU. They showed their dynamic duo. And I think Joe just pleads for him, you know, to the front office. I need this guy. We can be something special. We've already proven it. Get this guy in. I'll show you what's up. I don't even know if he's on track to come back uh, for the beginning of the season. It was just ACL, right? It was, but he tore it, I think, week 11, somewhere around there. Yeah, it'll be close. I mean, with technology now, you know, people are returning a lot sooner than what it used to be. So, yeah, um, they're not they're not going to rush it. You I, know, they're yeah. not a playoff contender. So, you know, unless he's 100%, they're not going to risk it. Uh, some people think otherwise, whether they're not a playoff contender or not. They just feel like they're a few pieces away. But you see right there on the bottom, if you guys are watching this live, you see that the team needs our wide receiver, offensive tackle. Well, obviously, we talked about Jamar Chase, Panay Sewell. Tight end, if Kyle Pitts fell to them, I think they would have chosen him over Jamar Chase personally. Uh, interior offensive lineman and an edge rusher are their biggest needs that they that the Bengals would like to address at some point in this draft. As expected, Jamar Chase is now going to be a Cincinnati Bengal for the foreseeable future. Joe Burrow's former teammate from LSU will now make that transition into being a wide receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals. Mikey, what are your thoughts on Jamar Chase? Best dressed so far. You can just tell he's elite. He Agreed. looks like Randy Moss. He's about to just go in there and cook. Agreed. He, he, yeah. He's definitely dressed really well. You know, this was my pick for the Bengals um, since day one. You know, Jamar and Joe, they just have that special connection. Uh, it'll be fun to watch them in the NFL. Um he can beat you so many ways. He's a great route runner. He has that top end speed. He can line up inside, outside. Uh, just a complete receiver. I mean, this draft is so much fun just because of the wide receiver class uh, between Smith, Chase, Waddle, uh, Bateman. I mean, the list goes down to about like seven guys that are, you know, first round talent. But I think Jamar is just like on another level compared to those other guys. And. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the Bengals' mindset is they can get a tackle later on. I think they, they, they'll they be able to get one early second round. So why not take the best wide receiver in this draft class? 